So the short answer is no. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Like and subscribe. Now, for those of you who are actually here for somewhat of a response and not just a quick answer, welcome back. This is the Richards Vacuum Center YouTube channel, and I'm here to give some commentary and my thoughts on whether or not you should use your vacuum cleaner for construction cleanup, especially drywall dust and concrete dust. And the answer is obviously no, as I said, um, but I'll explain why. And um, I'm using this vacuum as an example. So this vacuum came in, this was a thousand dollar plus vacuum cleaner. And um, this motor just got inundated with just drywall dust. It was used uh, to clean up after const a construction job, like a remodel or something. And it just completely killed the motor. And you can see just all of this fine dust. It's all packed and built up in here. I don't know if you can see that poof. Um, but uh, so what happens is, here's what is going on. The size of the particle for drywall dust and concrete dust is so, so fine and so small that it will pass through even HEPA filtration. Um, HEPA filters, it, it, even if it's a, it's a HEPA filter, it can it can stop a lot of it. It can, but but it gets inundated and over overfilled. The filter can only capture so many particles, and so these particles make it all the way through a HEPA filter, and they basically clog the filter almost instantly. So even if your vacuum has HEPA filtration, that's a good thing. It will stop some of it, but if you're picking up, you know, more than a half a cup or something, or even less than that, maybe. Um, you're, you're overloading the vacuum cleaner with, uh, with particles that's going to clog its filtration. And then what, what happens after that is once your filtration is clogged up, the, um, the air is now going to move through the neck, the next easiest route. So, which is going to be around all the seals and everything like that. So when you open up a machine, when we open up a machine that has good HEPA filtration, good sealed HEPA filtration, um, I'm seeing dust leakage all over the place. Now this actually, um, you know, this actually is, isn't too bad, this particular, this Mila. So I'm not, it's all pretty much contained inside. If you can see here how well this is sealed, this Mila did contain almost all of that uh, drywall dust leakage in the motor compartment. It didn't spew it out all outside of here. And, and it, and this HEPA filter actually captured a lot of it. So basically this is the HEPA, where the HEPA filter lies. Um, so I didn't see, and then this is the filter after the HEPA filter. So, um, even though this vacuum, it did destroy the motor, um, it actually didn't let any of this stuff out, but it did clog up everything. And so it's basically useless. And of course it destroyed the motor. So the motor needs to be replaced. Um, but this is what you're risking essentially, if you use your vacuum cleaner to clean up drywall dust and concrete dust. Um, the, uh, so you're risking... Uh, ruining your vacuum cleaner. Now, um, the best way to clean up this type of stuff is do your best to sweep up as much as you can, like with a broom and a dustpan, and then use a damp cloth and try to use a damp cloth to dry up. But then there's always the little cracks and crevices, of course, that really only a vacuum cleaner is going to be necessary at some point because you're going to have all those little cracks and crevices that, um, you know, sweeping and a damp cloth aren't going to be able to get to. So then use your vacuum for that and then immediately uh, clean your vacuum cleaner um, after you've used it for that application. So, so that's my suggestion. I hope this is helpful. Uh, like and subscribe, comment, tell me what you think, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.